Greetings, pilots. This is uh, Lanikin, and this is my co-pilot, Elena. This is just going to be a, a brief introduction while I refuel my uh, friend here uh, as to MechWarrior Online and how I'm going to be trying to cover it the best I can and do some streaming with this one and try to have a good time while keeping the baby under control, because that's, uh, that's life. Uh, if my achievements are to be trusted, I started playing on September 26th of this year. That's when I got the basic tutorial complete uh, achievement. And as of recording, it is October 18th. So I've been playing less than a month, uh, having a good time. I, I've been playing uh, tabletop Battletech for a decade, at least, uh, thanks to uh, my buddy Mexi, who uh, got me into the N71 group. Is that what you call those? I don't even know. I'm, I'm a noob. Anyway, I thought I'd get a brief overview uh, so you can see what's going on in here in my base and just just get a feel for what's happening uh, before uh, we go on this adventure of shooting people with mechs. Uh, looking over my stats uh, <laughs> on the website, uh, my kill ratio is probably a 0 0.1, 0 0.8 something. I I'm getting better, but uh, those uh, first uh, couple weeks were pretty rough. Especially running trial max, you know, get a chance to build them up. Anyway, we're going to uh, take a look through my mech bays so you can uh, take a look what we got. Which, um, brace yourselves, taint much. As you can see, I'm not even on premium time at the moment. But uh, start off with my uh, my commando. I've uh, why a commando? It's just when I started playing BattleTech, I was playing a 3025 campaign and I always got stuck with them. But uh, yeah, the large laser and uh, SRM version, although mine is not large laser laser. It's a small pulse laser, SRM fours, two SRM fours, and SRM two. Uh, I also have a build for LRMs, which I was using when I was still new, which I might switch back and forth to. I don't have multiple mechs, so I just changed the loadout manually, which I take pictures of so I can remember the loadouts, and I'll post that uh, here. Feel free to pause if you actually want to see that build. But uh. In this case, I've I built a storm crow, which we'll go to next. That pretty much taught me get up close and blast limbs off of mechs. So that's what this thing is going on. Uh, it seems Sly Marva, which uh, you'll know what that is if you know what that is. Speaking of the storm crow, which I am kind of worried about the storm crow, honestly, because it is all streak SRMs. And if you read the patch notes for the patch that was supposed to come out yesterday, but it's actually coming out today. Uh, mm -hmm. Wednesday instead of Tuesday for the mm -hmm. escalation update. They are changing the angle in which you can keep a lock on the streak missiles and LRMs at ATMs. They're going from like 45 degrees to 25 degrees. Now, I already found it somewhat difficult because I'm a nub <laughs> to keep lock sometimes. So that's probably going to stick his thumb right up my butt. But we'll see. This thing has been a monster for me, mm -hmm. which is great because I'm a noob and I suck. But, uh, five streak SRMs, six and a half tons of ammo, and a clan tag for those stealth units that think they're clever. <laughs> think you can't lock onto them. Uh, I have an alternative LRM build, which I'll post here. Pause it if you want to see it. If not, I pretty much abandoned that build because I can just run up to people and remove their legs. And, uh, isn't that better? Also, uh... Mexi is a fan of the beef, so I built a party back, which is actually very effective. What? Oh, she's falling asleep. <laughs> uh, my producer's pointing this out to me. Why am I in skills? There you go, load out. So yeah, it's just nine small pulse lasers. Uh, heat sinks as much as I could jam in. Uh, I probably need to put in a lighter engine. I was poor when I last built this, so I might update this. Now that I'm looking at it, I could probably put a light engine in there. Get some more heat sinks in there. Like, engine heat sinks improve my efficiency, which is only a 137, which is kind of poopy. But uh, typically, with this, I have two buttons. One chain fires everything, and the other alpha strikes. And you fire four small pulse, then alpha strike, and you can keep on a continuous stream of laser vomit. Which uh, typically just digs holes through people, and they don't expect it. So, expect that. All right. Yeah, I don't have a lot of mechs yet. Uh, I have a Nova Cat, uh, the basic Nova Cat pack, so the Prime A and B coming in tonight. Hopefully, if they actually release it today, like they were supposed to be yesterday. 
So I'll have three more heavy mechs, but right now this is it. This is less than a month's worth of work, and uh, it's fun. I got the Marauder 3R, which is the most basic, but Rotary AC5, which is just madness. Uh, initially it was a Gauss Rifle, which, you know, puts out the more direct pinpoint damage, but uh, since I'm equipped with snubbies and small pulse lasers, I just insert myself into people's anuses. And, um, uh, could you edit that part out? Uh, I'm not sure if I have another build for this. I should actually bring up that folder. I don't think I did, because all I had was um, the Goss variant, which is gone now. Yeah, no more Goss. Goss sucks. Rotary AC5 is where it's at. Uh, and also, when you're firing PPCs with a Marauder, I don't think people really understand. I mean, now that I have the rack, they stay away from me, but before... They would try to get a close get in my minimum range, and it didn't exist because they're snubs, mm -hmm. and then they die. So that was always good. I had flamethrowers on this before, mm -hmm. just to overheat people, but I figured I should use small pulses instead and have them chain fire for uh, mm -hmm. critting, because my accuracy is uh, not so good, because mm -hmm. I'm new, and uh, I make excuses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, this is a uh, Marauder 2C uh, laser zeppelin at the planetarium. It's got everything. Uh, I probably also need to put a larger engine in this, but I kind of like being a zombie. Mm -hmm. I I mean, because I do have center torso weapons. If people blow off mm -hmm. both of my torsos, I'm still fighting. So I'm not quite sure about that mm -hmm. quite yet. And with the lighter mechs, it's different because, I mean, shit, they're mm -hmm. small. Like uh, Hunchback, mm -hmm. if he loses both of his side torsos, he's just got a small laser in his head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that going to freaking do, you know? Mm -hmm. But, uh, this guy's a little different. Uh, eight medium pulse lasers and a heavy pulse. Or, uh, yeah, eight medium pulse lasers and a heavy large laser. The the it was a, a large pulse laser yesterday, but I swapped it out for a little bit more uh, long range punch. Uh, initially, I also had flamers in this uh, just to shut fuckers down, but uh, it was too situational, and I figured more laser vomit for when I do inevitably lose a limb, just to keep up the damage. It's all right. Uh, heat management not so good. Uh, once more, this would probably benefit from a larger engine. Because, I mean, I got crap tons of heat sinks. And people are like, oh, why do you got all those heat sinks? Because if they create a heat sink, they don't create my laser, dum dum. And I need those, or I die. I, here I am saying dum dum when I, like, I know what I'm talking about, but I've been playing for three weeks. <laughs> I know, right? I knew you were tired. A little, a little bit of dribble. Alright, my last mech was my first, the first mech I bought, King Crab. Triple Zero B. It usually is a loadout with double Ultra Cannon 20s, uh, which I'll put here. Alright, that's gone. Right now it's armed with two racks, rack 5s, a Beagle Active Probe, three medium lasers in the right torso, which is basically for when my racks jam up. Now, for this, I, I've only played a couple games with this like this. I'm just toying with the build. Mm -hmm. Oh, how's that light machine guns? You know, for crits. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm considering taking out the the rack on the right arm mm -hmm. and putting in streaks on the left torso. So I have a left side. I could peek around a wall, tear somebody up with the rack, hit their crits with mm -hmm. the streaks, and then duck back around. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have machine guns on the right arm and in the other side on the left. For all that same kind of stuff. Why are you drooling everywhere? Why are you sleepy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that way. Mm -hmm. we, we, I mean, but then, you know, other than the media pulse lasers, I'm all right hand side. So, I mean, it gives you a good strong shield arm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, I don't have like the big pauldrons mm -hmm. the way the body is laid out in the king crab. Typically, it goes in the torso instead of the arm, from my experience. It's mm -hmm. not like a, a banshee or something. But uh, it's just an idea I've been considering. Uh, what do you think? You can yeah. post it in the comments below. I've almost killed this bottle. <sighs> right, well, my co-pilot's going to need a nap. And hopefully after the update tonight, which will be 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. my time. So it'll be 4 p.m. Pacific. Yeah. Uh, we'll get on and play with some Nova Cats. I'm going to try to stream. I'm going to try to have my co-pilot around with me and uh, have a good time. So I uh, hope to see you there, and uh, don't explode. One arm is hard.